Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're talking about watching movies in virtual reality. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Woo! That's right, my name is Lazius K, and ooh, today is very cool. We're talking about how you can watch movies in virtual reality by using big screens, latest service offering where you can buy an actual ticket. Really, really cool. Now, if you're familiar with big screen and what it's all about, timestamps in the description below, you can skip this step. Otherwise, let me give you a very quick introduction as to what it's all about. So big screen is one of the first platforms in the world for everyone to get together, go online using a multitude of different VR headsets where they could watch movies in virtual reality. And now people use it for a variety of different reasons. Either they meet up with their friends, with their family, to watch movies and play games together, or companies now are starting to use it where you can create your own private room, do presentations, you can meet up with your colleagues, brainstorm ideas. Now, if you want to learn how to use big screen, how to move around, change rooms and all those kind of things, as well as create your own private room, link in the description below how to do that. So stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my final thoughts as to my experience, what it was like to watch the movies in VR using big screen. I used two different headsets. The first one was the Oculus Go and then the other one was the Oculus Quest. And as I used the Quest, I also used two different earbuds. The first one was Spectra Shell and then I also used the Oculus branded earbuds. So hmm, I'm going to give you a little comparison. So first, once you're in your home and you're ready to purchase a ticket, you bring up your user interface and you will see there's a selection that you can choose which is called Play Now. When you click on that, it will open up all the different options for you. At the top, you'll see the four different movies that you can select. Now just mouse over the one that you want and select it. It will then lead you to the lobby where there are a lot of other users as well who you can chat with, of course. But you'll also see on the user interface all the information you need to know. So on the right hand side, you'll notice there'll be all the different show times and normally they show the movies every half an hour. In the middle, you will see the title of the movie at the top with the main actors. You'll also see whether it says that you purchased a ticket or you haven't purchased a ticket. Then it'll give you the description of the movie, a synopsis if you wish, and also at the very bottom, where this movie is actually available in which countries because some of the movies are not available in every country listed there be very cautious about that but there is a way to bypass this so stick around i'm going to show you how to do that so once you're comfortable on the movie you actually want to watch and the time at which you want to start watching it from which by the way the movie ticket is valid 48 hours from the moment you have completed the Payment. Now to proceed to the next step, all you have to do is go on the right hand side where you have the showtime column and you'll see a big blue button where it says buy. Now click on that. You'll see a new user interface will pop up in the middle of your screen to say go and check your email A link has been sent there. So the next step is go to your email and see the link. Click on that link. It will lead you to the actual big screen website. So once you're at the big screen website, log in using your login and your username that you created either in the Oculus or on the web before. And then you'll see you'll be led to the page where the movie ticket is. And you'll be able to see all the details of the movie again. Then just enter your credit card details. And what will then happen is you'll be sent another email to confirm that you have purchased the ticket. Now, if you've noticed, when I clicked on it, it says not available in my country. I went onto a VPN site. I bought a one month purchase because it's a 30 day free trial so I can actually get my money back for no reason required and, and not sponsored by the way but I've used them before so I know they're reliable. Then I hooked up to the America's server and I clicked the link again and lo and behold I was able to make my purchase. So once the payment has gone through and everything's okay what you do is you go back into the Oculus Quest make sure you log in with the same account username that you use to make the purchase for the ticket. And then you will see when you click on play now at the top where there are the four movies, you'll see the movie that you picked will have a little icon, little green icon of a ticket on that. Just click on that. It will lead you back to the lobby with the same user interface as you had before. So after you've chosen the time, you clicked on join room and then on the user interface that will pop up, you click 
public or private room, you will be transported into the actual cinema itself. So you can't choose the environment, it's not customizable. And at the beginning on the big screen, it will just be gray and it will say loading content or loading movie or something, which will take a few seconds. And if you join the room before the movie starts, you'll get to see some trailers. If you joined after the movie started, you won't be able to, you know, rewind the movie. It's just like going to a real cinema. You would have missed the beginning or whatever minutes if you join after the official start time. So you will see a UI will come up in front of your screen where you'll be able to do several things. First of all, you can put the subtitles on or off. You can also turn off or turn on the toys. The toys is things like the popcorn, the soda, or the virtual tomato. And then on the right hand side, you will see a button where it says show room ID. Now, if you're with a friend or family, all you have to do is to click on that, it will show the room ID, send it to them who also have to buy a ticket. So on your friends and or colleague or family member, on the right hand side, they will see a button, however, that says join room. So when they click on that, another pop-up will come up. And they have to put the same code that you gave them of the original room where the movie's playing. When they confirm it, they'll be patched through and sent to the room with you where you can see each other, you can interact with one another, you can talk together. But if they haven't purchased a ticket, they won't be able to see the movie. So during the movie, I used two types of airbags using the Oculus Quest. During the first half, I used a Spectra shell and I put throughout the entire movie the Quest to the maximum volume, even though it's not recommended. So during the peak moments of the movie, during the big explosions, a lot of action, people running around and all these kind of things, for the Spectra shell, I definitely had to bring back the volume by four bars. Otherwise, there was a bit of crackling going on. It just couldn't really handle it very well. But during the normal moments, it was really good. No issues. The bass was very nice. I had a good experience watching the movie. However, with the Oculus, branded earbuds during the big moments oh it ate it like breakfast it was really amazing i didn't have to bring down the volume whatsoever the levels of the sound was just much more balanced is i used two headsets the oculus quest and the oculus go both were on a full charge at 100 percent and both finished at two percent for the oculus quest and one percent for the oculus go however the oculus go had glitches for about 10 minutes before it ran out of juice. Now during the movie, there were no glitches. There was no moments that paused. I mean, the server of big screen really worked very well. I was able to watch the movies from start to finish without any issues at all. Only once during big screen, near the end, about 10 minutes before the end, it stopped for about maybe three seconds. Guys, Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Remember to like and subscribe so that you and I together, we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. The next video, we're going to talk about some industry news. Plus, there's going to be a live video coming up pretty soon, either with Walking Dead or we're going to do a Doctor Who walkthrough or Odika. Mm, who knows? Leave in the description below which live video you'd like me to do in the near future. All right, take it easy, and as always, DJ, cue music.